I knew one out of every four people in the UK living with chronic pain. Are you taking lots of medication to relieve your pain, one of which is an antidepressant? Do you have side effects such as dizziness, drowsiness, nausea and headaches? Recently, scientists from several UK universities have been studying whether antidepressants are effective for chronic pain by looking at 176 trials involving nearly 30,000 patients called the Cochrane Review. They found that only one antidepressant showed the highest level of evidence for chronic pain relief. Its name is duloxetine, Cymbalta. In this video, we will discuss everything you need to know about this antidepressant called duloxetine. So what is duloxetine? Duloxetine was originally developed as an antidepressant to treat depression and anxiety. However, research shows that it can be effective in alleviating chronic pain. It is thought that the same chemicals affecting mood might also affect pain. Duloxetine works by changing the way that nerves send messages to your brain. If the messages are reduced, then pain may also be reduced. The Cochrane Review Chronic pain is defined as pain of any kind that lasts for more than three months. Over one third of people across the world experience chronic pain. This often affects people's mood and well-being and their ability to work and carry out daily tasks. New research has raised doubts about the effectiveness of antidepressant medication that many people are taking for chronic pain. There is very little scientific proof that antidepressants actually help, even though they are frequently prescribed. Professor Toma Pincus is a professor of health psychology at the University of Southampton and is the co-author of the Cochrane Review that involved 176 trials and nearly 30,000 patients. The review revealed that duloxetine was consistently the highest ranked antidepressant to reduce chronic pain and equally effective for illnesses such as fibromyalgia, musculoskeletal and neuropathic pain conditions. However, there were some concerns expressed due to the lack of data on longer term safety of using duloxetine for chronic pain. So how do you take duloxetine and at what dose? Usually you should take duloxetine once a day, but you can also take it twice a day. Your doctor will advise you on this. You should swallow the capsule whole with a full glass of water. You can take duloxetine before or after food. It is important to take your duloxetine dose daily as prescribed for it to work properly. Usually you start on a low dose of duloxetine and increase this slowly to find the best dose for you. You and your doctor, nurse or pharmacist will decide how quickly you can increase your medicine. Typically you start on a dose of 30 milligrams at night. After one to four weeks this usually increases to 60 milligrams. You may increase it more slowly if you feel you are getting side effects. You can stay at a lower dose if you are getting good pain relief. You don't have to keep increasing the dose if you do not need to. It is best to take duloxetine at the same time each day. So how long will it take to work? It may take two to four weeks before you experience pain relief. It may take longer, up to two months, to get the right dose for you and to allow the medicine to build up in your body. Duloxetine does not work for everyone. If you do not feel any improvement in your pain after six to eight weeks, you should not suddenly stop taking the tablets, but speak to your doctor, nurse or pharmacist about an alternative. So what are the possible side effects? So the common side effects of duloxetine are nausea, which means you might feel sick, drowsiness, dizziness, a dry mouth, constipation and headache. Generally, side effects are worse after starting duloxetine or if you're increasing the dose. It is important to persist in taking duloxetine as these side effects are usually mild and will wear off after several days. Drowsiness is usually temporary. If you feel drowsy, you should not drive or operate machinery. 
Drowsiness may occur as you increase your dose, so if you feel especially drowsy in the morning, it may help to take your duloxetine dose earlier in the evening. The risk of drowsiness may increase if you are taking other medicines for pain, such as other antidepressant medications, anticonvulsants or morphine-like medicines. If these side effects are severe or last more than a few days, or if you experience blurred vision, trembling, irregular heartbeat, difficulty passing urine, or a reaction to this medication, you should contact your healthcare provider immediately. So are there possibilities outside medication that some patients might benefit from? Dr. Kathy Stannard is the clinical lead for NICE guidelines for chronic pain and also for the pain transformation program. She believes that the evidence is strong for exercise in a group setting led by an exercise instructor. There is good evidence that exercise reduces pain and improves psychological well-being and it also improves mood and anxiety. Dr. Stannard heads up a project in her Gloucestershire healthcare system with an individualised approach to exercise, where patients take things at their own pace, even though they were able to do very little to start with. This programme has shown very good reductions in pain relief for participants, and the same has been experienced by other groups around the country. In summary, it is rarely possible to help chronic pain completely by using medicines alone. This is because long-term pain arises through many different mechanisms and most medicines only work on one of these. The reality is that if somebody is taking a medicine and they're still in fairly severe pain, it likely means that the medicine just isn't working. In such circumstances, it is possible that you may be prescribed additional pain relief drugs by your doctor. But do be aware that this is likely to increase the chances of experiencing more side effects. And if you are prescribed an antidepressant for chronic pain, the latest review of research has shown that duloxetine is superior to all other antidepressants in the short term. Medicines work best if you combine them with other ways of managing symptoms, such as regular activity and exercise, such as individualised mobilisation, that has been seen in Dr. Kathy Stannard's exercise programmes. Also, undertaking satisfying or enjoyable activities, such as work, study or social activities, are likely to have a similar impact. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and remember to like, subscribe and comment.